Hi, this is Milena from Coaching Center. This is one of the videos dedicated to um, a mentoring process, which leads towards your uh, personal ICF uh, credentials. Very often we get uh, questions both from wider public, but also from our uh, particip participants on our uh, coach uh, training programs. Uh, how does mentoring look like and lots of different questions. So we gathered them all and created this uh, video for you. Um, so why ICF credentials and why would you pursue um, through mentoring ICF credentials? Well, uh, we find the statement on ICF uh, website and generally we believe that ICF stands for golden standard in our industry. Um, it is a pathway which is sometimes challenging but also joyful and uh, learningful and uh, it gives us, uh, provides us uh, ableness to give accountability towards our clients and coaching profession, profession general as a whole. Uh, what is mentoring? It is process based on coaching, feedback with a lot of partnering, um, uh, which is based uh, on uh, mentees, coaches, uh, self-reflection in role of coach, but also based on observed or recorded coaching session, and which leads to better understanding of ICF core competencies and uh, creating greater uh, coach's capability in role of the coach. Um, who is uh, mentoring uh, for? Actually, mentoring is part of any credential, uh, no matter are you pursuing ACC, PCC or MCC level, no matter if you are renewing your ACC or PCC or just um, pursuing it for the first time. It also doesn't depend of which uh, which path of credentialing you have chosen. Uh, is it a level one or eight, a, a formerly ACSTH? Is it a level two or formerly ACTP? Or is it a level three or portfolio path? Um, each path uh, mm, uh, uh, has a mentoring as a process. Some paths uh, have mentoring as a part of educational program, uh, for example, level two. Uh, but uh, in portfolio, for example, there is dif different part where you get your education and then afterwards you, uh, you receive your uh, mentor coaching. But generally it is for all of us who are pursuing new or renewing old credentialing uh, in ICF. Uh, who can be your mentor coach? Well, it depends on the level of uh, personal accreditation that you are pursuing. So if you are pursuing an ACC level, your mentor can be uh, a person who holds ACC but renewed. It can be, of course, PCC, holder of PCC or holder of MCC. If you are pursuing ACC or PCC, uh, your mentor ought to have at least uh, PCC credentials and of course it can have he or she can have an MCC and if you are pursuing an MCC then of course your mentor can only be an MCC coach. In coaching center we have uh, for now these four coaches so you can find us on LinkedIn or on our website so we have Mariana Racic who is um, PCC and also also holds um, EMCC global uh, accreditation both for individual and team coaching uh, as well as uh, Jelena Pavlovic myself and we have Adriana Milosavljevic who is um, a PCC coach. Um, some of us uh, are um, individual mentors, some of us are both individual and group mentors and we will explain this a little bit later in this video. So a lot of questions come from uh, mentoring pace and setting. Uh, so 
what is ICF requiring from us when we are uh, going towards our personal credential? ICF is uh, expecting from us as uh, pursuers to have at least 10 hours of coaching, 10 uh, men hours of mentoring. From these 10 hours, at least three hours have to be one-on-one -on -one, uh, setting, individual mentoring, and uh, another uh, seven hours can be group uh, uh mentoring mentoring which is happening in a group setting mm, so um uh, and the other requirement that icf is uh, having is that this process of mentoring uh, should take place over an extended period of time which is at least three months for us which allows this learning and mentoring and reflecting and feedback cycles where we as mentees um, understand something, learn something, apply, have new reflection, uh, create new recording, for example, uh, etc. So the general pace of your mentoring process is something that you uh, can create on your, on your own. Your mentoring process can start uh, with the beginning of your coach training program or if you prefer, you can wait the end of your coach training program and then start the mentoring program. You can have first individual, several individual one-on-one -on -one, uh, mentor coaching sessions, or you can start with group coaching. You can switch from individual to group to individual to group, or you can first finish all seven hours of group coaching and then. So this is something that you create uh, on your own, depending on your um, um, training education, your preferences, but also uh, the amount of uh, uh, um, coaching hours that you have as a, a professional. So, as we said, there are group and there is group and there is individual mentoring. Group mentoring is uh, at least seven hours. Of course, you can uh, apply for more, but this is uh, the minimum that you have to, you need to have when applying for IC, ICF. And it actually happens in two different sessions. Each session is three and a half hours. Uh, in a group of maximum of 10 people. Uh, and the main uh, occupa occupation of group mentoring is a walk through ICF uh, competencies in practice, um, simulation-based learning about ICF core competencies and feedback on coaching simulations in line with ICF core competency uh, framework. Um, and then in individual mentoring, uh, this is more uh, partnering between coach or a mentee and mentor, who is also a coach. Um, and uh, the main focus on individual mentoring is um, coaching sessions, recorded or observed coaching sessions, uh, and uh, presentation of core coaching competencies by the coach and learning uh, around ICF core coaching competencies. Um, ideally, uh, ending individual mentoring, these three hours, at least three hours sort of individual mentoring, you are prepared to submit your audio recording um, uh, of your coaching session, which is part of your ICF uh, credentialing uh, process. Uh, so what could be next? Uh, something about individual mentoring. Yes, uh, at least ICF is expecting from us to have at least three hours, uh, which is mostly uh, three times uh, one hour sessions. It can as I said, it can be during coaching education or after you finish your coaching education. Uh, you can choose your mentor from pool of mentors uh, and uh, you can choose to have different mentors for each uh, one hour session. So uh, theoretically from three hours, uh, three hour individual uh, mentoring, you can have uh, three mentors. Uh, the pace and the exact time, day, the way you were uh, going to be mentor is something that you organize uh, with your mentor, you partner around 
uh, this and uh, mostly this is uh, something which looks like coaching and feedback process in in the in dialogue process happening and most of the time you are um, preparing uh, or sending your um, recordings of your session they are evaluated by your mentor uh, through uh, icf core competencies uh, module uh, you receive your feedback um, you define your mentoring goal and uh, partner with your mentor uh, towards you acquiring these um, knowledges skills and um, reaching your mentoring goal um, very often we get the questions do we have to prepare the biggest preparation is your coaching uh, session the recording of your coaching session of course if you uh, if you are in the stage where you have uh, uh, enough uh, recorded coaching sessions which uh, which uh, have um, uh, good performance on ICF core competencies, then you can uh, discuss some additional stuff with your mentor, for example, ICF uh, application process or anything else which is within your um, coaching team and your goal for mentoring. Mostly this happens over the Zoom, sometimes in live setting, it again depends on your partnering with your mentor. Uh, group mentoring is a little bit different of course it happens uh, within a group of uh, maximum 10 uh, mentees uh, additionally <clears throat> it is happening in two separate sessions uh, each session lasts for three and a half hours it can start during your coaching education or you can apply for group mentoring when you have finished your uh, coaching education. Uh, most of the time we have two mentors leading group uh, mentoring and maximum 10 people and mostly these mentors are um, from coaching center uh, in this period of time Adriani Malasavljevic and myself but it also depends. Uh, in coaching center we are organizing group mentoring sessions uh, every last Friday in the month uh, so you can write us, email us, or uh, whichever channel you use, and uh, we, you will be um, you will be um, uh, administrated, and you can consider yourself applying for uh, group mentoring. Uh, each uh, mentee in this group setting is setting his or her own uh, goal for mentoring and uh, the aim of this is increasing coaches capability in coaching with aligned with icf core competencies many mm, very often we um, mm, demonstrate uh, role plays and learn um, uh, on site online actually uh, and uh, group coaching is a lot of fun actually uh, i prepared something else here for you for group coaching you are <clears throat> Uh, applied to our uh, coaching uh, platform uh, and here you receive a lot of materials like pre-read and post-read videos and stuff about um, I don't know uh, performance evaluation uh, coaching knowledge assessment uh, team competencies ICF uh, individual team competencies uh, client referral to psychotherapy, ethics in coaching, um, your client coaching log, a lot of lot of materials we prepare here for you and also really uh, also we record each um, group coaching session so you can revisit this recording and watch it again and uh, this is your place for uh, mentoring in group setting as well. We also use uh, Miroboard where we um, interact with you and create simulations. And uh, this is a part of uh, group mentoring in coaching center, which I say is uh, mostly very, very fun. Uh, then uh, we have... Uh, 
when we are finished with uh, group coaching uh, and individual, when you uh, have at least 10 hours of uh, mentoring, then this is something about documentation. If you had one mentor coach, then you will choose in application um, while administrating your application, you will choose the name of this coach, uh, his or her email, email address, the credentialing level of mentor coach, and when did your uh, co mentor coaching start, the date starting and the ending date of your coach, uh, mentor coaching relationship, and of course the number of hours. Uh, but if you had several mentors, you will do this separately for each mentor. You are not obliged to provide any additional documentation just to fulfill uh, the document. Uh, but uh, your mentor coach should be able to confirm uh, all the data that you uh, put in application form. But because when you, div when you are end with your application form, your mentor is receiving an email. Uh, where he or she is uh, asked to confirm that uh, they had mentoring uh, with you. And uh, this is something about um, the things that uh, we pre prepared in coaching center for you regarding the subject of um, uh, group mentoring and individual mentoring and generally mentoring towards ICF credential. If you have any additional question, uh, please write us uh, write us in comments or, or in on our email, which is support at coachingcenter.org, or you can find us on our website. I uh, hope you enjoyed, and this was um, interesting and um, uh, helpful uh, for for you. Um, goodbye. See you again.